Hey friends, welcome back. Today in this video, we will solve this interesting algebraic problem. And the given problem here is e power by x plus y plus e power by x plus z that is equal to 18. Next, e power by y plus z plus e power by y plus x that is equal to 20. And e power by z plus x plus e power by z plus y that is equal to 24. And we will have to find the value of x, y and z. So friend, if still you have not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe the channel. And do not forget to give thumbs up to the video let's start the video now if you look at carefully it is powered by x plus y in the second equation it is also x plus y if we will change it is x plus y and likewise it is x plus z so here also it is z plus x and y plus z and here also y plus z so now we can say that every value is of two times so for solving this we will take as this equation one and this one as 2 and the last one as equation 3 so the first step will be to solve this problem is first step we'll add the equation 1 equation 1 plus equation 2 plus equation 3 if we'll add these equations we'll get 2 times each value so we'll get 2 times e powered by x plus y plus e powered by y plus z plus e powered by z plus x that is equal to in the right hand side if we will add that will be 8 plus 4 12 2 remaining 1 1 plus 1 2 2 4 and 2 6 so it is 62 now if we will divide both sides by 2 it will be 31 so we can write e powered by x plus y plus e powered by y plus z plus e powered by z plus x is 31 that is equal to 31 let us take that equation 4 so if you look at carefully equation 4 these all three values are added now if we'll subtract equation 1 from this equation we'll get z plus x so our next step will be step 2 will be to subtract equation 4 minus equation 1 then we'll get here x plus y and x plus z that is z plus x gets cancelled and will remaining is e powered by y plus z that is equal to if we subtract 31 minus 18 that is 13 so the value of e powered by y plus z is 13 likewise if we will subtract equation 4 minus 2 then we'll get we'll subtract y plus z and y plus x y plus z and x plus y then the remaining will be z plus x so then we will get e powered by z plus x and then and then in right hand side 31 minus 20 is 11 and next we will subtract 4 minus equation 3 then we will get if we will subtract z plus x and z plus y from this z plus x and z plus y then remaining will be x plus y e powered by x plus y and that is equal to in the right hand side 31 and 24 we will subtract 21 from 36 that is 9 so friend here we have calculated all the values separately so we will take this as equation 4 and this as equation 5 and that is equation 6 so we have taken equation 4 5 and 6 so our next step step 3 step 3 is to multiply equation 4 5 and 6 so we'll multiply 4 equation 5 and equation 6 now if we'll multiply the value will be e powered by y plus z multiplied by e powered by z plus x here and that is multiplied by e powered by x plus z that is if we'll multiply 13 in the right hand side 11 and 9 so here the base are same e e and e so the power will be added so it will be 2x 2y and 2z so we'll take 2 common 2 common the remaining will be x plus y plus z and that will be equal to 9 multiplied by 11 multiplied by 13 now we'll simplify the equation now if we'll take 2 from the left hand side it will be square root of the right hand side value so we'll write e power by x plus y plus z and that is under root 9 multiplied by 11 multiplied by 13 
so friend our next step is to separate this value so we'll write x separately and y plus z separately look at here here the if the power of a is m plus n we can write a powered by m multiplied by a powered by n so likewise we let e powered by x multiplied by e powered by y plus z that is equal to under root 9 multiplied by 11 multiplied by 13 so here we have calculated the value of e powered by y plus z that is equal to y plus z is 13 so in place of e powered by y plus z we'll put 13 so here e powered by x multiplied by 13 equal to under root 9 multiplied by 11 multiplied by 13 so we'll take 13 in the right hand side then e powered by x will be if we'll take 13 in the under root then it will be square root so we'll have to write two times so we'll write 9 multiplied by 11 multiplied by 13 so it will be 13 multiplied by 13 so here 13 and 13 cancels so we'll write it here so e powered by x is equal to under root 9 multiplied by 11 divided by 13 now for solving and calculating the value of e we will take log log base e under root 9 multiplied by 11 divided by 13 here it is x so likewise the value of y will be log base e under root 13 multiplied by 9 divided by 11 and the value of z will be log base e under root 13 multiplied by 11 divided by 9 so fan hope the video was very clear to you if do you have any doubts write your doubt in the comment box and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching the video